Hi, welcome. I am Mary Crowley. This is Zing, a show for children of all ages. May I please, may I please spend some time with you? I would like that. Yes, I'd like that. Would you like that too? Hope so. Today on Zing, we're going to have a song about Hanukkah and Christmas and Peace by Lynn and Connie. Then some scenes about what Rutland is like now that it's December. Ron will play the guitar and sing. There'll be a puppet show, Lynn and Connie. And Grace Church Children's Choir will sing. First though, let's get to what we have for the words. Red is the word. Give, G, 12. Now I'm going to sing a birthday song because especially in December, birthdays sometimes get forgotten. I know that because I knew somebody and he always said, oh, I wish I had a birthday some other month because people are getting gifts for Christmas or Hanukkah or some other occasion, and they're kind of forgetting me. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, December. Happy birthday to you. Now let's go with the colors and the words. Red. Red is the color I chose to highlight for December. Why? because it's a warm color. Yellow and orange and red are warm colors. They make you feel warm in this cold, cold time. When the days are short, when we get snow, and when it's cold, frequently. Red, the bow with this little tree. You'll see red bows on green wreaths, round green wreaths, on front doors. Santa, you see, in red. Red. The word is give. December is a month in which people give. Gifts. Now, a lot of people go out and buy lots and lots of gifts. And then other people, families, and I grew up in one of these, we got some gifts, but not a lot. Uh, we got a few, but that was fine. I didn't know uh, any difference, and I thought it was just fine. Some people don't have the money to buy gifts. Some children would like to give something, but they don't have any money to buy. So they could make something. They could ask the the adult they live with, if they could make some cookies. They could make a snowflake out of white paper. They could do something for somebody. They could do something that would be helpful, like helping to clean up the kitchen or picking up the living room. A gift can be something you buy or you make or you do. The letter is G. Give, g. Game, g. You can play a game indoors. You can go see a basketball or a hockey game. Go, g. Go. You can go outdoors. You can go to a movie. Go. Give, game, go, and lots of other G words. 12, and I'll reach over here, is the number 
of eggs in an egg carton. That's an easy way to remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve eggs. You can always count on it. It's wonderful to count on certain things. There's that. In the song that Ron is going to sing, the last line is 12 drummers drumming. 12 drummers drumming. Lynn and Connie are going to sing a song about what it might look like inside a house where they are celebrating Hanukkah with a menorah, then Christmas with colored lights on a tree, and then finally, there's a thought about peace. Here in my house, there are candles burning bright, one for every night of the holiday. We gather with friends, sharing gifts and happy times. Happy Hanukkah. And in my neighbor's house, the lights are shining too. Red and green and blue round the door. The sound of jingle bells and laughter everywhere. Merry Christmas and many more. Season of light, season of cheer, season of peace. May it last throughout the year. This is a beautiful song written by Johann Sebastian Bach. It's three simple words. Dona nobis pacem. Give us peace. And it's written in rounds. So my daughter and I are going to sing it together. Dona nobis pacem. pacem. Dona nobis pacem. is a Jewish holiday that it's hard to understand, but I'll say this little bit about it. The Jewish people who lived far, far away from where we are were able to get back in their temple. The temple was a great big building that was really important to them. And they were very happy, but there was only oil enough to keep light going for one day. But there was a miracle. And the oil lasted for eight days. And that's why in the menorah, which Jewish people have in their synagogue and in their homes, there's one candle in the middle, which lights the other candles, one candle at a time, until finally all of the eight candles are lit. And that's to remember what happened, what miracle happened in the temple. Christmas is another holiday. Now, we celebrate Christmas in many, many ways. We do it by bringing greens in, green tree, putting a green wreath, green branches, to remind us that the earth is going to be green again. We also celebrate Christmas because there was a baby named Jesus born many, many years ago. And he was a teacher, 
and a healer, and he is very important to Christian people. And there are a number of churches in Rutland that celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Finally, the song talks about peace. Peace is something that it is wonderful to have. If you feel peaceful, you feel calm. You, you're not joyfully happy, or you're not really, really sad and down. You just feel peace. You feel a certain quiet mind, and it's a great thing. This painting is by Nancy Howe, and this is her idea of peace. A peace that a dove is a symbol of peace. And here we have a very quiet painting and quiet hands holding a dove. Rutland looks different when the snow comes. This painting by Peter Huntoon shows some snow in Rutland. The lamp post has green on them. Downtown decorates itself. This year there are uh, decorations in windows and you will see many, many houses with colored lights and inflatable snowmen and Santa Clauses and other animals in yards. It's a time to bring light to the world because there isn't as much light. There are gray days and the days are short. But anyway, Peter, this Peter Huntoon painting makes the wintertime look bright. Ron plays the guitar and sings. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French and two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 
Nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are smoking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Over fields we go, laughing all the way Bells and bobtails ring, making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Everybody sing along. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells and bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Ron, for being with us. Lynn and Connie have a puppet show about giving. And at the end of it, you will find out that you don't have to buy something to give a gift. Oh, don't come in here. Don't come in here. Why not? It's my room, too. Uh, 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 because, um, uh, uh, I'm, uh, it's top secret. <gasps> Wait. What? Why? What? Why? It's a, a top secret mission for mom. Uh, fine. If you won't tell me, I'm going to ask mom. <gasps> and no, no. she'll. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll tell you. This is your Christmas present. It's my Christmas present? I thought that came from Santa. No. It's your Christmas present from me, silly. But you can't see it, so go away. OK. What's wrong? Tori has a Christmas present for me, and I don't have one for her. Oh, Alexa. I, I don't know what 
to do because I don't have any money and I can't go to the store by myself. I can't drive. <laughs> oh, Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, it's okay. You don't have to buy Tori anything. A gift can be all sorts of things. Uh, like, like what? Well, a gift can be something that you share with somebody, with another person, to show them you care. Well, I, I'm not sure I care about my sister. Oh, oh Alexa. <laughs> what about last week when you read her a book because she wasn't feeling well? You cared about her then. Well, I felt sorry for her. But, yeah, I guess I cared. So, maybe mm. as a gift, you could uh, write her a story. A story? I could write a story? Sure you could. Uh, Mary, would you help me? Uh, I'd love to help you, Alexa. Does that mean you care for me? Yes, Alexa, I care for you. I care for you very much. So, let's begin. Okay, okay, um, okay. Once upon a time. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Lynn. The Grace Church Children's Choir led by Alistair Stout, is going to be singing Silent Night. Uh, a number of them got dressed for the occasion. This was a rehearsal. That means that they were practicing, that they were doing it ahead of time before they will do it in church for a Sunday service. Uh, they also did some of The Little Drummer Boy, and it's great fun to watch them. we bring to lay before the king so to meet him me and my drum thank you children you were wonderful to be willing to sing for zing you did you did sing for zing i decided that I would do a drawing of a partridge in a pear tree. So what I decided to do was, and this was just an experiment. This is from an idea that somebody had online of using circles and then putting pears here and there so it looks like a pear tree and it has a trunk and it has branches, but it's not real, it's, <laughs> it's different. And the partridge, again, it's not exactly the way a partridge is, but it's similar. There's a trunk here, and then the branches go up in different kinds of ways. 
and there are pears, and there are leaves, and there are lots of almost circles that go around and around, and coming around and around and around and around and down to the trunk again. There is a circle here that a partridge is in. There are pears. I'll draw some pears now and some leaves. Let's start over here at the left. Here's a pear and here's a leaf. Here is a pear and here are two leaves. A leaf, a pear, a pear hanging down, a leaf, leaf, leaf hanging down, pear. Pears are bigger at the bottom than they are at the top. Here's another leaf and here's another pear. Another pear. And sometimes you need some big leaves just to fill in space. So that's what I'm doing now. Now I could color this when I get through if I wanted to, but I'm not going to have time for that. So I'll just do the pears, the leaves, but I'll wait to do the partridge until the end. Now let me see if I want to do some more leaves. Here's a leaf. Let's do a leaf out here. And let's, let's put some marks in here that suggest that this is a real trunk. It has a, a rough kind of texture to it as most trunks do. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. All right, let's do the partridge. And I've got a smaller black pen now. And I may used to have to use the thicker one at some point, but for now, this will do. One thing that it seems everybody likes is to see the eye of any animal or bird. And so I'm putting in the eye. And you can see it right there. And there is the beak. Then here, there are the suggestion of feathers. I want to end with a very simple song uh, that I made up that has to do with telling you again, you are a star. In some way, you are special. You are different from everybody else in the whole world. And as you grow, you probably will find out what you want to do and try to do well and work at it. Maybe you want to be a great skier. Maybe you want to play basketball. Maybe you want to be really good in school and learn how to read better. Maybe you will want to be really good at drawing and painting. You are a star in some way, but if you don't know it yet, just keep looking and listening and trying things and working on whatever it is you think you like to do. Because you're a star. You're a star. Yes, you are. You're a bright and shining star. Yes, you are. Special star. Special, special, special star.
Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next month. Happy holidays.